Hi, I'm Ben Sherlock. And I'm Luke Jameson. And this is Funny Talks with Ben and Luke. We welcome you, and we hope you have a good time. Hi. Oh, your uh, text oh, should shit, live. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, a couple of weeks ago, we went to Amsterdam for... Um, Bitches. Nick's birthday. <laughs> um, the brother who's mentioning, the one who's gay, who... That's not the reason I thought he had less of a every time you bring him We only took him there to try and make him have sex with a girl. Exactly, yeah. (laughs) It's like, you're not getting your inheritance from Dad unless you're fucking straight by the time he's dead. I don't think my dad watches this. (laughs) So anyway, um, we went out first night, got a bit fucked. I ended up throwing up quite a lot. Ruined some trainers. <laughs> <laughs> he fell down the stairs and he ripped. Oh, yeah. He ripped like a fucking portion in his pants. It looked like someone stabbed him in the arse. <laughs> yeah, it was a hole in the seat of my jeans and the seat of my boxers. <laughs> so you know, I don't know what you fell on. If the damage had gone any further, it'd be in my fucking asshole. So, <laughs> so, it, so uh, yeah, that was uh, that was sore for a couple of weeks. Oh, that's so and, uh, funny. Yeah, I just <laughs> woke like, up the next morning. Woman was Thing. She was just down and you fell. I went, fuck, we're gonna get thrown out. And I was like, wait, it's the hotel, it's not a nightclub. And I was just like, get the fuck up. So, anyway, um, I started texting Liv, my girlfriend, but none of it, literally, none of it fucking makes sense. Um, hey, Livy, I've had a great time, but also love you. I've had a few moments to a real connection, but also with me and my also classism with animation. <laughs> what the fucking fuck does that mean? <laughs> Um, we went and then so she was like what have you been off to <coughs> so I said um, we went to a few bars including a gay bar which I was very comfortable except it was suddenly that white personably suddenly there was a pro white people rhetoric asterisk asterisk <laughs> white people see into the last lasto tour to speak to someone racist in charge to help you question mark asterisk asterisk less sense somehow <laughs> what the fuck so then I said... Um, you were speaking fine, though, at this stage. Yeah, no, I think this... I don't know if this was... Because I spent about two hours on the toilet when we got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was on the fucking toilet. But I was, like, taking a shit and needed to throw up, but I was still shitting. So I couldn't just, was... like, turn around, so I had to just, like, keel over and do it on the fucking floor. That's how I ended up it's my It's one train. of those things where it's, like, it's got a little slit, so you can try to, like, get a key in or something to turn it just in case. But all, like, they coins and everything we had <laughs> were too fat to get in. And they were, like, a fucking my nails and a spoon trying to get in <laughs> and he's there I'm like Ben I was hang- hammering on the door for like good two minutes and he goes, he goes yep and I was like alright you're not dead I'm going back to fucking bed then. yeah I'm pretty sure I fell asleep on the toilet and you just woke me up and I was like but I didn't realise because it would have just felt like that you know and I was just like yeah <laughs> what's what's the problem uh, and I said um, it's okay I'm trying to be equal with Nick and that fine but I'm also really drunk but I'm not the focus of tonight anyway. You be safe, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? So, there seems to be a lot of emphasis on me being okay with Nick being gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. But that might have been because I was sending these from the gay bar. So, I was very high and mighty, like, I'm in a gay bar. I'm totally cool with the gay thing. I felt like that when we were in, um, Ma- in Manchester. Well, after 1975. Yeah. We went into a gay bar, and uh, there was all of these. There were people, like, really extra people, like, <laughs> dressed up th- f- fucking best. <laughs> yeah. Th- there was that fucking guy. You never see that in straight clubs. There was this guy there, and he was, like, staring at me. And then I was, yeah. I was like, are you okay? And he went, what? And I went, he was like saying <laughs> yeah. something. I went like this, I can't hear you, mate. Just like speak there. And he went, I'm not going to fucking neck you, lad. And I was like, that's not what I've got to, but okay. But I'm so, I'm walking this way then. Why, if you're a straight man, would you go to a gay bar if you're that insecure about your sexuality? Like, if you're going like, to kick off every time someone looks at you. I know. Go to a fucking straight bar. He was just staring at me for ages. And you know, he's just like, I can feel your eyes burning yeah. against my face. So I'm going to look at you. What do you want? The fucking short ass twat. <laughs> the one in Amsterdam um, had a lot of old men in, so we only oh, yeah. found the right niche of the gay community for Nick. There, it's like maybe in fifty years we'll take it here. Yeah. Um, but you and Nick were smoking outside, and someone said, <laughs> yeah. um, "Oh, you two are a beautiful couple." Yeah, he, he kept going like, "Oh, you're very angry with one another." And it's like, 
no, I'm not. I'll just give him a cigarette. And he's like, oh, beautiful couple. And I was like, that's a bit fucked up because that's my brother. And then I was like, I do well better than him. <laughs> Nick got upset. Truth hurts. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Did Nick um, get any action? What, from 70 year old men? From the gay bar. From I 70 so. year old. They're all fucking 70. Oh. They're literally, we were the only one there by 40 years. Yeah. Well, did he anyway? Yeah, I think so. I think he was necking on with fucking <laughs> geriatric man. <laughs> so, anyway, so th- th- those are the texts. Those are the level of drunkenness. But so you're saying I was articulate speaking to you? I think so. Yeah. I just couldn't transfer that to my fucking thumbs. Apparently, you got these fucking pre-made joints, which are the worst fucking things going. Oh like yeah, an basic weed cigarettes. Or, it was yeah. literally like we ripped one open and it was just all brown with like three little specks of green. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. They're like two euros or something, wasn't it? Are they? Yeah. They come in nice little um, plastic tubes that so you can carry around in your pocket. You don't have to like smoke them right there. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. You put your coke in there and just <laughs> like that. <laughs> Easy. I suppose you can do. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Sorry, Ben. Uh? Do you still have Luke does? Uh, but I've been a good boy today. Luke. <laughs> Hi everybody, thank you for uh, watching slash listening. This has been Funny Talks with Ben and Luke. I'm Ben Shaw. I'm Luke Jameson. I'm Matt Johnson. I'm Spence Cameo. You can find links to all our shit in the description.